Ken mentioned. It's bark cut deep by Jormungandr's sharp scales. I should look around for the missing cauldron. Something huge was dragged this way. Dark, so the cart would break a wheel. This was an ambush. The 
This card bears the sign of Agir. If it was Agir's cauldron they dragged through here, it must be large indeed. Return to Earth when they die. Back to the tilth they came from. Destruction leads towards that giant root. Animal blood. There's a trail. Roughly got it. This is Yatna work. But why take its organs? slaughtered that animal for its innards and used them in their ritual. Likely the thieves employed this magic to hide their loot. The mitten of the great Jotun Skrimir dropped here long ago. Maybe the thieves took their burden inside. Soft mars all around. Hard to imagine this place once fitted a hand. Guards here are vigilant. The missing cauldron. But how did they get it into this cave?
his home to these Yatna. They must have fallen far to live in such cheerless squalor. It seems his sons have been hiding here, awaiting their chance to take it back.
This place is heavily guarded.
Another life beyond this. I hope it is a better one.
are small to my eyes, stranger. Small in stature, but great in deed. I am the one they call Javi, the High One of Asgard. And I come bearing a great gift. Your name is known to me. But what could mighty Sotunga want that a little thing like you can provide? Your great cauldron, stolen by Hemia's sons. Let this offering be a beginning to the end of our hostilities. Such a small thing, yet so much steeper than it seems. Appearances can be deceiving, can they not? <laughs> well spoken, Harvey. Our people may be enemies, but you have earned your welcome here. Thralls, an honored guest has come. Prepare a feast! I hope also to meet your daughter, Gunluther. I have heard much of her skill in the mystical arts. She will be toiling at her work, as ever. But be forewarned, she shuns the company of others. I could summon her to the feast, if you like. We might discuss matters of alchemy on the way. That would please me. You will find her in her grotto, up the path, within the circle of stones. Have a care, though. You are safe in my presence, but you wander Utgard at your peril. I will be discreet. And Harvey, be kind. Gunnlodr is different from you and I. What is this place? Some time ago, we made powerful magic here. We sought to see all futures. 
But every road led to Ragnarok. Father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it. But I am not yet ready to give up. You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future. Heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from... in there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility waiting for unknown ears many ages hence. What do these future voices say? They seek the wisdom of the past. They speak of things to come. But even they cannot turn the tide of Ragnarok. There is to be a feast in my honor. Your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. Are you there, Prophet? Can you hear me? Perhaps another day. Another thread. Come. We must not keep father waiting. Steep and sky pearls fall thick in this land. It, it is cold out here. How can that surprise you? I haven't been outside in... Uh, I don't know how long. You are devoted to your work. Not my work, my responsibility. My people ignore the disaster bearing down on them. Someone must do something. We have long searched for a solution until the burden of it has bent my mind. I do not think as clearly as I once did. I've heard there's one method still untested. There is, but to activate it would mean defiling our well of knowledge, from which all of Midgard drinks. There is no telling the change it would wreak on humankind. It would bring chaos at the least, and I do not wish to hurt them. Even if it means the death of all Jotna? We will find another way. We must. This land is quite beautiful. I had all but forgotten. If there is another life beyond this, I hope it is a better one. wherein our greatest discoveries are kept. Such things would do great harm in the hands of evil people. No sense trying to change fate. What counts is how you face it. All we have built here will be swept away. So long we made magics there in that tower. Enchantment has seeped into its very walls. The wind and snow have gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon we will knock it down.
are generous and hospitable indeed, great Sutungur. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred yotna and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with mead from your vault, then? No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of meat? Do you hear this? <laughs> Harvey fears he will drink us dry. <laughs> my cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment, enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I'm ready. Now, we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend. Harvey, I'm called, whose axe is never slaked. The blood of my enemies is my meat. Their skulls, my pillow. You brag well. They were ever pleased by violence. You are all brothers and sisters to me. Do not be too familiar. Jotnar are slow to trust. I offer a toast to Great Sutunga. They do not love me as much as they love to feast. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. Let the feast begin! I need to empty that cauldron. Then Sutunga will open his vault. By a thirst. I should head to the kitchen. You're not drinking, Gunnlother. I do not care for it. Drink is the heron that steals away one's memory. Some would say it frees the spirit of worry. We call those people drunks. <laughs> I see your wit is as sharp as your intelligence. Wit? I was simply stating a truth. Let us play a game. Ask me some riddles. I will see if I can guess them. I enjoy a good riddle. How did you know? All great minds enjoy riddles. You fashion order from disorder, sense from nonsense. You have me at that. Very well, I will play. Give me an easy one to begin. Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. The answer is courage. No, the answer is ale. I thought you would get that, as you seem so fond of it. Would you like another? All right, I'm ready. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road and has fared that way before? He kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. It is a hammer. Well done. I hope that wasn't just a guess. One more? I feel good about this one. Be prepared. This is the hardest yet. White-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. Snow on the trees. You have a poet's heart, but you should have used your mind. 
It was swans and eggs. Well, now the game is over. Have I raised your spirits at all? I feel a little better. You are kind to attend to me, Javi. Most have given up trying. Sombre souls will only sip at their drinking horns. Conjure us a tune to raise their spirits. We are keen, but my harp has been stolen. We cannot play without it. Who would steal a Songbringer's instrument? There was a group of children playing around us earlier, with mischief in their eyes. I will get your harp back, and then you will play. Thralls. Humans kept in bondage, bred to serve. Such is the fate of the lowly. No guests in the kitchen! Out! They are calling for challengers to face them. Abby! Show us your might! Beat our champion and we will drain our horns in your honor! Bring me this champion, and I will shine my knuckles on his jawbone. Behold! Do not mock me. I will not fight a withered old crone. <laughs> if you are too afraid to face her, well, that is that. If she is truly your champion, then so be it. I will try not to break her brittle bones, but I promise nothing. to me then, as you promised you would. All of you! Empty your horns for heavy! If the mead is half gone, then Aegir's cauldron can't be drained. Is there any sweeter music than the clash of drinking horns? What can I do to get them to drink faster? Is there any sweeter music than the clash of drinking horns? I want to go! Get your grubby paws off my heart! That harp does not belong to you, little thief. You should give it back. What are you gonna do? Fight me for it? Why don't you give me a real challenge? All right. You want this harp? Go dive in that me. Climb as high as you can, though. I want a big splash. Watch and learn. My turn! My turn! Not you too! You break the strings with your sausage fingers! <laughs> Bet they won't do it! How many broken bones you think? Fifty at least. Maybe a hundred. Come, give it a try the archery contest. Greetings, Harvey. Will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can chew the wings off a wall. Ah, but can you do it while bead adult? Before each attempt. You must take a drink. I'll take your challenge on one condition. For every drink I take, you take two. Ha! <laughs> That's a condition I'll gladly accept. Are you ready? Show me those targets. They take a drink and let fly. Now give it a try. What's the worst that can happen? Last time I played your game, I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. What's the second worst? Close your eyes, your luck will improve. 
look a bit wobbly there. You look a bit wobbly there. Careful! Not so easy after stopping at the brook of the Chia Kappa. When you feel ready, take a drink and try again. Agir, mighty friend to the Asid. Are you not sorry to lose your cauldron? It was never mine by right. Thor won it from Hymir so he might feast in my hall. I only kept it on his behalf. And after that bloody business with Hymir's sons, well, I'd as soon be rid of it. I'll have no strife beneath my roof. The end of strife. I'll drink to that. And I'll drink to an-